Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the transport delay and its effect on designing the controller for, for a given system. You should remember from system dynamics that adding a transport delay of tau seconds to a transfer function is indeed equivalent to multiplying the same transfer function with e to the power of minus tau times s. So the delayed system here is the original system multiplied by e to minus tau s, or the response is delayed by tau seconds. When we have s equal to j omega, and while we are indeed considering the body plot for the system, the body diagram, we can see that amplitude of e to minus j tau omega is equal to 1 for all values of omega, and its phase is equal to minus tau times omega. So we, in terms of amplitude, it will not change anything, but in terms of the phase, it will inject minus tau times omega uh, radian to the system, yeah? some negative phase. And in terms of degrees, the phase will be equal to minus tau times omega times 180 over pi. So this is the amount of the negative phase that will be injected into the system. And you can see that it's proportional to the value of omega. So as the frequency increases, the amount of the negative phase injected to the system will become more and more, and eventually the system might become unstable. It also depends on the value of tau. As the tau becomes bigger, or for big values of tau, the negative phase injected to the system will be bigger compared to the smaller values of tau. Over here, you can see the, the phase plot for the delay term, e2 minus tau s indeed. We have the body diagram, e2 minus tau j omega. Here we have the frequency, omega. And you have we have three examples. For tau equal to 0 0.1, we have the blue diagram. So this is tau equal to 0 0.1. Here we have tau equal to 0 0.05. And this one is for tau equal to 0 0.01. So as the value of tau gets smaller and smaller, the amount of the negative phase at a given frequency injected to the system will become smaller as well. So basically this is 0 0.1 and this is 0 0.5. This needs to be corrected. And you see that for small values of tau, the amount of the negative phase injected will be considerably small in this area yeah? but as the omega increases we will have difficulties in designing the control around that frequency indeed so this means that the value of the phase margin will always be worse than the same system without the transport delay because we this the phase will become uh, more negative yeah so phase margin will be smaller and smaller if we try to increase the bandwidth, when we try to increase the bandwidth, it means that we will have the crossover frequency at a higher frequencies. But you can see already from here that in higher frequencies, the, the negative phase injected to the system will become bigger and bigger, and the system might become unstable quickly. Similar to the positive zeros, the transport delays also limit the maximum achievable bandwidth that we can have for a control system, because we can't go beyond the given value, otherwise the system will become unstable. In order to design a controller for the systems with the transport delay, using the body approach, we will consider initially drawing the body plot for the system without considering the transport delay. But we will keep in mind that there is the phase contribution from the delay. And then we will uh, take that into account in finding out the value for the phase margin and designing the controllers. We can't consider the transport delays directly into account when drawing the root locus plot. So you, you know that that's another approach for designing controllers. We can't work with the transport delays directly, but instead we can 
use an approximation which is called as paid approximation for the transport delays which gives a transfer function for that part of the system so the transport delay will be replaced by a transfer function uh, zero and four and then we will use that we will integrate that into the transfer function of the original system here we have an example we have the transfer function given in the form of or for the plant is given in the form of e to minus 4 s over 1 plus s squared so we have some transport delay so this shows that we will have we our system has a delay and we want to design a controller using the body approach such that the order of the controller is smaller than or equal to one so you will have a proportional or a first order controller steady state error is equal to zero for the step input and step disturbance phase margin is at least 30 degrees and the crossover frequency is at least 0.2 radian per second so as usual the first step would be to draw the body plot for the system we will consider drawing the body plot for g p of s equal to 1 over s plus 1 we can call it gp bar for example then yeah? so the transport delay will not be considered we will draw the body plot and then we will look at the requirements we can see that already for the steady state error requirement since we need to have it equal to zero we would need to place or we would increase the type of the system which means that we will most likely use a pi controller if a pi controller satisfies the other requirements as well they will be fine otherwise we would need to we can say that it's not possible to do it with a first order controller but we might use a higher order control and you also keep in mind that gc of s is equal to one initially i think i have the plot already here you can see that here we have the body plot of the system i've drawn it for the to, to consider delay and without it in terms of it both of them will have the same amplitude plot but in terms of the phase here we have the system without delay and the one in red is the system with the delay and you can see that when we have the delay after some after a given frequency which is let's say around here after this frequency the phase of the system goes below minus 180 degrees and as a result the system becomes unstable so we, we need to indeed keep the crossover frequency at the lower frequencies okay so let's let's now check the the controller that we are going to design again since we are going to have a steady state error equal to zero we will use a pi controller initially for the pi controller we will have a pole at the origin and we need to have a zero for the zero we place it at the frequency of minus one at s equal to minus one and you can see that it is the, the it's this frequency so the zero will be added here and then we will see where how this indeed changes the body plot of the system we could eventually have added at lower frequencies but by adding it at this frequency one of the poles of the system will be cancelled with this zero so our system will become simpler okay but again keep in mind that you could do this at lower frequencies you could have it at in the form of s plus uh, one plus s over 0 0.5 over s yeah, for example so we have chosen one or point minus one in order to cancel one of the poles at the poles of the system in terms of the generalized gain you can see that it is it could be as a, considered as a free variable because we are 
satisfying steady state error and we have no requirement in terms of the disturbance rejection and noise attenuation here but now we want to have the omega c equal to 0.2 radian per second to be our crossover frequency so the requirement says uh, tells us that we need to have it at least equal to 0.2 let's keep 0.2 yeah for now and then we will see whether it's possible to increase it or not in order to have that we just need to find out the proper value for gc tilt we want to have amplitude of l of g omega at omega equal to omega c equal to 0.2 and then following this we will get gc tilt almost equal to 0.2 and if we introduce that gc of s will be equal to 0.2 times 1 plus 10 s over s which gives us l of s in the form of this transfer function 0.2 over s times 1 plus s times e to minus 4s now that we know that the crossover frequency is 0.2 we can find out the phase margin in finding the phase margin now we will consider the effect of the delay so this comes from the delay phase of l will be equal to minus 90 minus inverse tangent of 0.2 over 1 minus the value that comes from this delay and you already see that it is minus 45 almost 46 degrees and then the phase margin that is obtained will be equal to 32.85 degrees which is bigger than 30 degrees and it is satisfactory so with the pi controller we are able to satisfy all the requirements but keep in mind that the phase margin that we have obtained is pretty close to the required value it's almost at the border if we increase the crossover frequency a little bit then the phase margin will become smaller than this and if we move further and increase the crossover frequency again a bit more the system may even become unstable because with the the transport delay the amount of the negative phase that will be injected into the system will be increased as the frequency increases another thing to consider here is that without the transport delay for the same value of omega c the value of the phase margin would be 78 degrees okay and it means that if we didn't have the transport delay we could have increased the crossover frequency while keeping phase margin in the desired range so we could have either we, we would have a better stability margins because the phase margin is much bigger or we could have uh, we could have increased the gain in order to, to obtain a larger bandwidth and larger crossover frequency while having the phase margin bigger than or equal to 30 degrees but with the transport delay present you see that we are quite limited we cannot go beyond 0.2 for the crossover frequency and the phase margin that we obtain is almost uh, around 30 degrees which is required so the presence of the transport delay reduces the achievable performance greatly over here i also have uh, drawn the body plot of the original system and the pi compensated system without considering the delay and you can see what happens then yeah? the one in blue is the original system with gc of s equal to one the one in is where we have the pi controller you can see that in terms of the amplitude at low frequency much bigger amplitude at high frequencies we have the effect of gc tilt the amplitude plot has moved upwards and then in terms of the phase at low frequencies we have some minus 90 degrees injected to the system and at high frequencies you don't see the the effect of the in the, uh, the fa phase of the system remains almost the same as the original case again keep in mind that here we don't have the the phase contribution which we had from the uh, time delay yeah? the transport delays phase is not shown here 
because if it's strong over here you see that at the frequency of 10 to the power of 0 or 1 10 to the power of 0 which is omega equal to 1 we have already minus 320 30 degrees right? so the system is already unstable at the frequency of 10 to the power of minus 1 we have some contribution and as the frequency increases that the phase contribution from the transport delay becomes bigger and bigger and that again limits the uh, the performance that we can achieve by designing the controller all right so that's all for this video i hope you have seen the transport delays affects the behavior of the system and how we can design a controller while we have the transport today for the system thank you for watching and see you in the next video